Alright, time to run all the way around, because... Yep. Pretty sure I went the wrong way. What is the point in that place? It keeps tricking me. Uh, how exactly do I look at quests? Local investigations succeeded. Not the person I'm looking for. How long must I wait, damn it? Blaming me when I cannot enter. How long is it going to take to fix me properly? Finally, you've returned, Doctor. Did you find anything of value? Yes, nurse. You've worked your first miracle, Doctor. Now, this patient here needs immediate treatment. Okay. Duty calls. When the storm has passed, I'll show you how to mix the remedy yourself with the same bed. Oh, fuck! Many thanks, Doctor. When you've finished, you ought to report to Dr. Swansea in his office. He's been looking for you. Seemed pressing. Okay. Good evening, sir. Doctor. Good evening, Doctor. How is my son doing? What can you tell me about yourself, Mrs. Goswick? Not much to say. Just take care of my Mortimer and I'll cover all the expenses. That's all that matters. There's not much to say, and yet apparently you're rich. Not really that rich. Most of the patients here are of a more humble origin, if I may say so. Yes. Thanks to my husband. May he rest in peace. I can cover any needed medical expenses. May I ask if you have an occupation, Mrs. Goswick? I'm a teacher by profession. I teach young women who are more ambitious about their futures than their families. What do you think of your reception here? Any complaints? I have had the uttermost reservations about this hospital since we arrived. But we had no other choice, considering the state of emergency. Uh -huh. Is there something in particular that's bothering you? Some of the staff were not especially welcoming. I suspect they're not accustomed to dealing with patients of such social standing. Or maybe they're just not accustomed to dealing with a fucking plague. Tell me more about your arrival at the Pembroke Hospital. What gave you such a bad first impression? The ambulance driver was quite rude, for a start. And that nurse, Miss Hawkins, seems to have quite a dubious attitude. What do you mean? She managed to secure a bed for my son despite the epidemic. It was a relief, but it wasn't cheap. She charged you for a bed? Yes, and I paid without question, considering the urgency of the situation. I share your concern, Mrs. Goswick. Be sure that I'll talk to mm. the people involved. I don't expect compensation, Dr. Reed. But I'm aware such behavior would not be tolerated in other hospitals. Yeah, that's pretty scummy. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. Good evening, Mr. Goswick. How are you? I'm okay. Do you need any help? I'm afraid I may, sir. I don't mean to be a burden. You are not a burden, sir. Healing you is my responsibility. And you have my gratitude for that. Glorious! How painful. Is your throat, Mr. Goswick? So painful I'd rather not talk at all, Doctor. I'm sure you realize a doctor and his patient have to communicate, sir. Would I mean, it help if I gave you some paper and a pen? Not really. I see. 
Then maybe it's not just your throat that hurts, Mr. Goswick. Perhaps your sore throat is just the consequence of something more hurtful. Yes, maybe. But I don't want to talk or even oh, write about it. Oh, he was bitten by a fucking. Why did your mother have you hospitalized hmm. here? I almost said bitten she by a dragon. Convinced this is a bad hospital. My mother just wants the best for me. She won't rest while I'm here. She'd go all the way to hell and back to help me. Hmm. Pembroke Hospital may look unorthodox, but rest assured, you're in good hands here. It's not me you have to convince, Dr. Reed. It's my mother. Is your mother bothering you? As your doctor, I can ask her to leave you alone if you would prefer. That's tempting, doctor. But you have no idea what my mother is capable of. She would tie herself to my bed if you asked her to leave. <laughs> How painful is your throat, Mr. Goswick? So painful I'd rather not talk at all, Doctor. I'll let you get some rest then. Don't waste your time with me. Good evening, Doctor. How is my son doing? Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. All right then. Dr. Reed, may I help you? What can you tell me about the epidemic, ah. Nurse Crane? I've been out of touch since I've come back to England. Everyday folk don't know how bad it is. The papers certainly won't tell them. Not as I long mean... as the war is raging on, anyway. News on the front mm. stated that the Spanish flu was under control, at least in Britain. It seemed to be for a while, but that was only last summer. It returned with a vengeance just over a month ago. Like plagues normally do. What can you tell me about our patients here at Pembroke? This hospital was founded to help the East End poor and needy. But since the war and the quarantine, we've had all manner of folk. Can you be more specific? Well, veterans, the elderly, dock workers. We even have a few mental patients. If there's space, we take them. For how long have you been working here, Nurse Crane? I first volunteered at the Pembroke in 1911, a few months after Dr. Swansea was appointed. And yes. before you arrived here? If you must know, this was my first job. Well, Dr. Swansea certainly hmm. has confidence in your abilities. First you job, huh? The nursing staff? Not in an official capacity, but the Pembroke doesn't always work above board, so to speak. Makes sense. What about medical protocols? Dr. Reed, we don't have the money and resources here at the Pembroke like they do in the West End. We do what we can. How is the duty roster organized? How Everybody the hell? works until they can't. If there's time, they'll eat a meal and shed a silent tear. I don't know that phone number. I'll see you later, Nurse Crane. I've been getting a lot of calls from unknown phone numbers as of late. You always knew the words to calm the children, Ellen. Hmm. 